to connect the data uh, from SQL Server to Power BI using import. So for this, uh, we need first SQL query. Also, you can directly import database too. But since I'm not going to export all data, I can show you that how to connect that. So let's start. First, we need to copy the instance name. And if you're working in organizations, organization will provide the credential. Don't you worry about it. So now, see this, I'm going to give the instance name. Sorry. Let me cancel it to show you. Go to this SQL Server. New source SQL Server provide the server credential. So it means instance name. Then after, give the database name. So my database name is this. This data also you can download from the. Now I'm going to use import. So click that, and it will ask for the password. So my password is. I come to the unencrypted connection. I said yes. And now wait to connect to the server. See this. All file is important here. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to connect this way. So for this, let's check anything. Any table, take it. So let's take this table and click OK. And now I don't want to use this. I wanted to use my query because I know that you don't need you need one, one top 1000 rows. So you just go here after that option paste here. That's it. And query has been changed. So this way you can do it. Also, another way is that go to the source, provide everything. Okay, I'm going to use the recent data source. So this way. See this. So again, this way. So instead of that, going to go to the school server and then provide the credential. Give your query here. Provide the credential. This time since it doesn't ask the credential, just we need to provide the database also. Uh, instance name then also it will work database optional if you don't write it will provide prompting let's give the database name as well if needed copy it then this time I'm 100% sure that not going to ask the password to say this I have successfully imported the data here so this way this is called import connection and you can easily uh, very easy way you can export your data from a school server either direct query or uh, export imports or import so it's depend on data requirement and conditions so it, it has some logic that we can tell you in next few next few video and now can you understood that you will be understand that uh, when I'm going to use direct query when I'm going to export import sorry not export import so for any question if you have any questions please share your comment and um, question I would uh, happy to help uh, you also uh, I would if you like this video please hit on like and subscribe button and thank you so much for watching my video